Today we're going to be looking at the UK's um, weather and whether it's becoming more extreme or not. We've got a nice graphic here, you can find these on showyourstripes.info. Um, and basically, they show the departure over the last 100 or so years uh, from a long term mean. Um, and the red lines show when the temperature's warmer. So you can see as we go from uh, you know, 1850 onwards right the way through to the present day, it was cooler in the past, and as we go through, it gets warmer and warmer and, and warmer. That's a further little bit of a nice visualization of global warming. Okay, so you are going to be looking at UK weather extremes. So, uh, extreme weather is, according to the Met Office, is when a weather event is significantly different from the average or usual weather pattern, and that may take place over one day or over a period of, of time. So, uh, good examples there are flash floods or extreme, um, extreme heat waves. And they're both examples of extreme weather. The BBC defines extreme rain, for example, as the sort of downpour you would expect once in a hundred days. So it's something that you wouldn't expect during normal conditions. Uh, now, from the Met Office there, you can see total rainfall from extremely wet days has increased by about 17%. So that's the first bit of evidence. And you can see there, uh, climate, don't forget, is over 30-year periods we tend to take. That's 1961 to 1990. The average was 64 millimetres. Okay. Um, and then the more recent period, 2008 to 2017, 75 millimetres. We can see here a temperature graph from the Central England temperature record. It's the it's the longest um, instrumental record of temperatures on, on planet Earth. OK, and you can see there you've got the years across the bottom and you've got the difference from the 1961 to 1990 mean. So if we look at, um, back in the past prior to 1920, a lot of the bars are below the long term average. That means that these bars here are all colder than the normal or the average conditions rather. And then as we go further on, you can see an increase in number of those bars appear above the long term average. Now, that means that those values are above uh, above the line. They're warmer than the normal. So uh, Britain's uh, weather is becoming warmer and that has impact on the storms that we get and the thunderstorms and all those sorts of things the drought and so on this is another nice graphic from the met office okay uh, and you can see the temperature difference from the average there so at this one here its range uh, goes from around 0 0.5 to about 0 0.65 uh, with a middle bit there about 5.75 uh, and that was 2014 and you can see that a lot of the years there uh, which are much warmer than normal uh, they've all occurred in the last 20 years as we go further back through the record the dates get further and further back in time um, and the temperature difference isn't as significant where precipitation is concerned um, you can see there a lot of our wettest years uh, have occurred more recently as well um, so we we have got a lot of wet years it's not as good a pattern as uh, as temperature but we the UK is definitely getting wetter in terms of the totals and the wettest years in the UK you can see there the five year wettest 2000 2012 2008 and 2002 and that does not include it from the last three years uh, when we've had some particularly wet weather and then in terms of the extreme rainfall days in the in the UK over time from 1960 onwards I, I plotted these as a line graph and added a line of best fit you can see there the number of days of extreme rainfall that's gone up over time as well okay so we are getting more extreme rainfall and again the, the definition for that is the number of days when the 95th percentile of uk daily average rainfall are exceeded so uh, it's the top five percent of of rain days and on those days uh, the rain had to be above 9.4 millimeters a couple of other little bits of evidence for you to suggest that our weather is becoming more extreme uh, particularly on temperature uh, the highest ever recorded temperature there in 2019 38.7 degrees celsius okay uh, highest uk rainfall was in the honister pass that was during storm desmond in 2015 uh, over over two days uh, in 2009 495 millimeters so um, you can see that there's lots of evidence stacking up to suggest our weather's becoming more extreme and then uh, we've got these things here so we've got the the 10 hottest years on record have all come within the last 20 years seven of the 10 wettest years have come in the last 20 years and there have been a number of major weather events like these so we've had major flooding events in 2012 it was a very wet year that includes thunder thursday which brought uh, where i live newcastle upon time the rest of time and we to a standstill 
We had huge winter storms in 2013. 2014, the hottest year ever on record, but that might have been eclipsed now because um, the last couple of years have been um, have been very warm. 2015, 16, we had Storm Desmond. So um, you can use your table. You can fill that out, okay? And uh, there's a worksheet for you as well uh, to fill out to to finish that up, okay? Good luck with that topic.